Welcome back to the War Corgi YouTube channel, and welcome back to you, Frederick. Yeah, nice to be here again. Glad to have you back. Uh, as you can see, I'm going to be playing my Drukari today, and you brought along something new. Yeah, my 84 Scalian will stand to fight today. Let's see how it goes. Alright, this will be the 3rd Guard Regiment on the channel, but we'll talk about them later. Alright. Because right now we're going to talk about the Drukari. And this is the Wish Calton Incessant Rage, uh, along with the Cabal of the Crippled Dog. So let's start here in the center. It is a battalion of witches. You see my warlord in the front. That, of course, is Dali. She has the warlord trait of um, being a really good fighter, so she gets plus one attack. Yeah. And the Triptych Whip as her artifact. Uh, that replaces her agonizer. Her combat drug gives her an additional plus one attack. Over to her right, on the left, is her sister Dolly. Dolly has the Archaic Glaive, of course, and then a Blast Pistol, and then her combat drug gives her plus one toughness. Then we got four units of witches right here in the front, so two units of ten. Mm -hmm. They have every single witch weapon, so that is the Razor Flails, the uh, Hydra Gauntlets, and the Charvet and Impaler, oh, okay. and then the uh, Hecatrex, or Sergeant, has a Blast Pistol and Agonizer. And then I got a six-person Witch Squad back here. Uh, same Hecatrex, and then she has the Agonizer. It's not the Agonizer, she has the uh, Shardnet and Impaler. Oh, and right. a five-person Witch Unit with Hydra Gauntlets. And the, the Hecatrex again with the Agonizer and the Blast Pistol. Okay. In that battalion, we also have uh, three Raiders, all equipped with Shock Prowls in the front, and then the uh, the dark light um, lances, the dark lances on the top. Yeah. It's been a little while since I played the Drakari. Yeah, it's kind of bad. Just played some ones against you. Yes, we played downtown in GW. It was a great game. Yeah, it's, uh, horribly fast. <laughs> and, and they haven't slowed down. Okay. And here's the really the the fast part. And I should mention yeah. both of these are red grief, and that ability allows them to reroll advance and charge rolls. Yeah. And also allows them to uh, advance and charge in the same turn. Makes oh, it really fast. So my operator attachment I have is led by everyone's favorite kitty. She is a <laughs> succubus, and she has a uh, she has her um, normal weapon, and then she also has an impaler to stick you with for two damage. I got three units of reaver jet bikes. The one in the front here has heat lances, what? Uh, two heat lances, and two grav talons, and then the ones on the right and left have blasters and. Okay. So that's total three units. Their combat drugs allow them uh, plus one attack. And then I got two units of Hellions, and they're just stopped. The first one up here has five, the one back here has six. They have plus two movement for the combat drug. They're going to kind of be my objective grabbers. And I should talk real quick about the other combat drugs. So, my two big units of witches here, uh, they have plus one strength. All right. And this one right here. It has plus one weapon skill, while the unit of six has plus one leadership. Oh, wow. So that just leaves this battalion over here. Oh, no, okay. It's a lot. Uh, so we got two Archons, and this is a uh, Obsidian Rose detachment, so all their weapons are plus six inches mm -hmm. uh, in range. Uh, so this Archon is stocked with his uh, Splinter Pistol and his hus Husk Blade, while this one has a Blaster and a Venom Blade. I got a five-man unit of Kevlite Warriors, and then two units of six-person Kevlite Warriors, each with a um, heavy Venom Cannon. That's not what it's called, though. Oh, it's, sure. it's, it's the Rapid Fire 3 Heavy uh, Splinter Cannon, thank you. Venom oh, Cannon, I oh, think oh, it's, it's a Tyranid thing, so these are Splinter yeah. Cannons. Six men. Two units of Scourges. This one over here uh, has Blasters. Wow. And the uh, sergeant here has a power spear and a blast pistol. And then it's called a solarite, by the way. And then over here on the right, I got two armed with dark lances, and the solarite is just stock. And then two venoms. Uh, they have the splinter cannons up top and the dual splinter rifles underneath. Oh, okay. uh, and that'll, that'll help them out with the range as well because they'll, they'll get the um, obsidian rose advancement there. So, oh, that's 1,999 points. Uh, I did take a second artifact, and that's the Blood Glaive on this uh, succubus right here, mm -hmm. which of course is uh, 
Anna. Uh, 13 command points, and uh -huh. they're ready to play with your Imperial Guard, which has always been kind of a tough match yeah. for my Dracari, but we'll talk about that in a minute. All right. That's it. So, Thanks. tell us about the regiment. Yeah, that's uh, 84th Cadian. It used to be a tank company, but got some infantry support. So I bought a full brigade today, leading us with my Warlord, uh, company commander, with a bolt gun. And also I bought Pascalon, and this good old reliable Punisher with three heavy bolters. And the third one is a tank commander. Mm -hmm. And I paid one point to make it a uh, Emperor's Fist. From the Dividualist campaign. The, yeah, okay. from the campaign. And he's got the Relic the Hammer of Sundarans, which basically is a battle cannon with a straight uh, three damage every time it hits. That's it's pretty good. good. Yeah, pretty nasty. So that's a command. I bought, yeah, full brigade mm. of infantry, so six infantry squads, just bare. They don't even have the Vox casters. Okay. Just six squads. Less guns. Um, for fast attack, I bought three scout sentinels with smudge lasers right in the back. Heavy support, two demon wassers, just with a heavy bolter in mm -hmm. the front. An exterminator with three heavy bolters. And heavy weapon squad with mortars. Okay. And I also bought a platoon commander, a tech priest engineer, and a squad of veterans with three plasma guns. For my elite choices, and the veteran will be riding in the camera. Okay. Right here with the multi laser and heavy boulder. Okay. And additionally, to make it uh, one, two thousand points, I bought the good old Bane Blade. <laughs> <laughs> the Bane Blade is the yeah. classic choice for Imperial yeah. Guards. Absolutely, yeah. Looking forward to having used it in 8th edition. We, yeah. we have not had one of those on the channel yet, so I'm excited to have it here as well. Yeah. So, um, hope it's pretty balanced. I gotta say, your models uh, from here on over, especially, look beautiful. <laughs> yeah, infantry, yeah. lots of paint. I see you have one that's going in here, and they look yeah, really good. The so. First one's ready, but it will take some time. No, oh, yeah. To paint everything up. Uh, anything you want to mention about the Cadians? How can you play Cadia? Cadia? Yeah, why do you like the Cadians? Yeah, not sure about it. Just, I love the background. Yeah. Yeah. Cadia stands. Against Day of Terror, well, not anymore, but the guard still stands. And I really like the color scheme, the background, and you know, just choose to play with them. Now, their special rules for the regiment is if they stand still, yeah. they get to reroll ones. Yes. And then if they're ordered uh, to reroll ones, they get to reroll all misses, correct? Yes, that's right. Okay, pretty powerful. And then you, of course, can bring Pask along with them as well. Yeah. No okay. Pask. Classic choice. This should be really interesting. Uh, we're going to be playing an ICC mission. It'll be your first time playing an ITC yes. mission, but I see some potential secondaries for my Drukari here that I can score, and I, uh, I didn't exactly tailor my list to play ITC mission either, so you're going to have that option as well. <laughs> so it should be a really high scoring ITC. Yeah, I think here. so. Some infantry to, to, to choose through. Yeah, on so both sides. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. Looking forward to it. Well, let's get to the uh, mission and deployment next. Yes. Let's go. Tonight we play ITC, scenario number six, Crucible of Champions. And the uh, playing style is search and destroy. So we have five objectives on the board. Uh, six inches in, directly in the center. Six inches in, and then 12 inches in on both sides for a total of five. The special objective or the bonus point is given to anybody who controls three objectives with characters at the end of the battle round. And with the search and destroy, that of course is table quarters. Uh, Frederick has chosen that, that corner back there, leaving my Drukari with this corner back here. Let's just say I was done deploying my forces long before Frederick. So starting with the left, we got a unit of six Hellions hanging on the flank and then two units of bikes uh, the unit in green there are the ones with the heat lances, so that means yellow has blasters. A unit of Cabalite Warriors securing Objective 3 for me. Some Scourges sitting on top of a building. Uh, some more Hellions behind this building down here. And then I have 
three of my raiders all lined up to fight for that center objective along with a unit of Kevlat warriors with the shredder and that venom. Over on my right flank we have a Archon helping out that six man squad of Kevlat warriors, another unit of blaster bikes, and then a five person witch squad in that venom. So in reserve I have the blaster uh, arm scourges and that is it for my deployments. Frederick. Oh, yeah. Yeah, choose this little outpost <laughs> right in the middle. My company commander is right in there. Behind him, some mortars. And since there shall be some headhunters around, the veterans decide to stay in the back and protect him over there. Yeah, in the back, we have the Bane Blade, the two Lehman Russes, and the tank commander. So, big artillery in the back. Big guns never tire. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Pask is heroically in the front, in the middle, ready to lay down some fire together with his exterminator partner. And all around some infantry to protect the tanks. The scout sentinels are ready, are ready to move up. And the chimera is on the right, my right flank at the river. I like how you double wrapped your tanks back here with two infantry squads and then the chimera. Uh, so at this point, let's go over the secondaries for the ITC mission. I have chosen Recon, which is to have a unit in each quarter of the board at the end of the turn. You kind of block me out there, so it's going to take a little bit. Then I have Headhunter. Uh, you have a total of five characters, I believe, with the two Lehman yes. Russ commanders to include Pask, and then yeah. uh, the company commander, a platoon leader up yeah, here. The platoon up here. The tech priest is way the back there. Blade. He's smartly sitting behind the main blade yeah. or next to the main blade. And then I picked Butcher's Bill, which is kill two units per turn. Uh, and you have chosen. Yeah, Big M Hunter. Okay, so that's all of my transports. Yes. And the other ones were Reaper, I think. Yep, which will get you a point for every 20 models killed at the end of the game. Yeah. And, and then the last one was Butch of Bill. So for two enemy units destroyed in turn, I get a point. Yes. So it should be very interesting. Uh, we're going to come back and roll off to see who's going to go first and second. And then we will do the scout moves for the scout sentinels over there. Yes. All right. Roll and see who goes first. I will get a plus one to my roll. I've rolled a four, which becomes a five. And you have a four. four. So ITC, a lot of things make you want to go second in the ITC because that's when you see who's killed more and who holds more objectives. But I cannot let all this firepower just lay me out on this first turn. So I'm going to choose to go first. And then you can go ahead and make your scout moves before we begin turn one. What about season Um yeah I, I, yeah, I guess you can do that. Yeah. Then I will try to seize it. I oh, don't. thank goodness. Oh, that's the one I needed before. <laughs> I totally forgot about seizing the initiative. Yeah. Woo! Okay, so we'll do your scout moves and then come back. Yes. Yeah, some scout moves. One sentinel going up to the front to protect me from the first charge. And the other two sentinels are protecting the left flank, so I don't get ever over one there so fast. I think that's a big ask for that one lone sentinel to protect you from a first turn charge. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> don't think it works. Yeah. But Big ask. All right. Yeah, so we start. Some webs coming. We start 18 inches away. So you might be okay, but I don't think so. We're gonna see here in a second. Has a lot of moving parts for the Dracari. So we're gonna start over here on the left. These guys just moved up normally 16 inches, while these guys peeked around the corner. Uh, they're gonna be relying on their obsidian rows. Uh, obsession in order to make sure we get range to something over there. Uh, while the scourges have jumped off of this building up close to the chimera and these bikes have moved normally so they can use their blasters and their guns. These bikes up here advanced and we're actually rolling a one but I got to reroll it because of red grief and they rolled a five so that has them all on top there which is going to be key for me. The uh, venom with the five man Cabalite Warrior Squad with the Shredder has jumped up on top of that building. Well, all three raiders have surrounded this poor Scout Sentinel who was sent out there to die by Frederick. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And then uh, these guys uh, jumped up as well, just a normal move. These guys have remained put. 
Well, the Archon has moved over to secure objective four as we look towards the bonus objective in a couple more rounds. The Spinum's being sneaky, kind of hanging out behind this building with the five witches, figuring out which way she wants to go as these Reavers have broken right on a normal move in order to dispatch at least one of these two scout sentinels. So, as usual, uh, we're gonna live or die in the shooting phase with the Drakari. Hopefully it's a good one for me and I can start clearing out some of this chaff in order to get back into that uh, rear echelon forces where all the real firepower is. So the first turn shooting is done for Drakari. I'm not sure I did enough to be perfectly frank. So uh, starting over here on the right, the two blasters did manage to put four wounds on that scout sentinel uh, while doing one damage with the just regular um, splinter rifles there. Everything in the center here combined to shoot and kill three guardsmen. Frederick did play a stratagem in order to uh, increase their armor save by one, take cover, exactly. Um, so the dark lances for these three all went after Pask and did a combined total of six damage. It was one dark lance getting through. No, 11 damage. And then the blaster from the Archon, that's okay, uh, managed to hit it doing five damage. I did reroll the Archon's two wound roll in order to uh, make that go through. So up here, <laughs> the shredder and uh, grenades and everything else uh, went into those guardsmen killing two. Uh, while I miss with both of these heat lances down towards the Chimera, I miss with both of the dark lances at the Chimera, I miss with the blasters at the Chimera, uh, the splinter did manage to take out a total of four guardsmen. So five, five guardsmen. Excellent. <laughs> so as you can see, you know, five guardsmen off of that squad, three guardsmen off of this squad, three guardsmen off this squad, one off that squad, and Pask, and then two off that squad. Again, might not be enough. I still got my charge phase to go, so we'll see if the Reaver bikes can get some things done. They're going to need to in order to make sure I get one unit killed here. So that's going to be next. We're going to go into the assault phase for the Drakari. Okay, so the good news for the Drakari is they made all of their charges. So charging into here, I managed to take out the Sentinel uh, that was badly wounded with four of the bikes going into it. And then two bikes uh, and the Grav Talons went into this one on the left that's still there, doing three wounds on it, one with the Grav Talon, uh, two with the attacks. It was the shock prows that did in the sentinel here. Thankfully, neither sentinel blew up. And it was the first two raiders. It, they actually threw all their attacks into it, but it was a shock prow that took it out, allowing the third raider to kill an additional two guardsmen down there. These reaver jet bikes sporting their extra attack managed to kill a total of seven guardsmen up top there, correct? Yes. Uh, and in return, they didn't take any damage. Uh, while my shooting rolls weren't great, my defense rolls so far have been phenomenal. I've made all my four up saves so far as hitting back here, Frederick managed to do a wound. Uh, Overwatch, he played Grenadiers and managed to do, uh, he got 20 shots, did four hits, but only managed to do one wound and I saved that as well. And over here I saved a wound from a multi-laser when he rolled three <laughs> to hit there. So he was rolling better on Overwatch than I've been regular shooting. So with that, we're going to do some morale checks. And so you want to start back there yes. with them losing uh, your one Five dice, plus. one dice, right? I mean, one I mean, you're playing, you're playing seventh edition. Yeah, a bit today. Uh, so they're good to go. So they're good to go. These guys, of course, have lost nine. Yeah. So, so just gone. Yeah, they're just gone. Unless you want to play a stratagem to keep no. them there. I didn't think so. No, 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 no. I did pile into the platoon leader, by the way. Okay. Yes. So these guys here in the front have lost five. Is it? Five, yes. Let's see if they lose some more. And. Ten, uh, so I'm losing three more. Three guys. more, okay. Yeah. Okay, gonna do this. And this unit back here has lost three. Yeah. Oh, two. Two. Yeah, These are five. some well disciplined guardsmen right yeah, now. Right. And uh, they only one. lost one, so there's no way they can fail. No. That's sweet. Alright, so you can go ahead and remove those guys there. Yep. Yeah. Everyone else is good. Uh when we look at the board, I, I control <laughs> one objective here for a point, and I've killed at least one unit for a point. I've actually killed one, two units at this point, which isn't great, but it is enough to get me um, a secondary. So I'll come back with the score in just a second. 
Okay, so I've killed three units at this point, so that's worth a point. And I am holding one objective as stairs, so that's worth a point. I also have Butcher's Bill having <coughs> killed at least two units. And Recon, as I got a vehicle here, I got a whole mess of guys there. I got some guys here and another whole mess of guys there. So that's going to make the score 4-0. Looking at the board, it wasn't a terrible first turn by the Drukari, but look at all that firepower getting ready to shoot back at me now. Frederick. Here we go. Unleash the big guns. Okay. For Gadia. I think it's safe to say we're looking at a general retreat. Talk us through what you did. Well, I'm not really a general retreat. Some guards are moving <laughs> up to the front to protect the tanks. Yeah, past Some this. moving backwards. Aww, yeah, two, three <laughs> guys, <laughs> maybe. They are passing the exterminator, stood where they are for the full potential of firepower. The platoon commander jumped off, out of combat to give some orders. He's way down he's there. He's still alive. Yep. The sentinel also moved back and the two lone guardsmen in the middle also moved back. Some shooting. Okay, everyone else stayed in place. Yes. Ready to benefit from those Cadian orders. Do you know what the orders are going to be yet? Or are you going to think about them? Yeah, I think it's going to be uh, first rank fire, second rank fire on them. Okay. Right. But company commander gives takes L on them. Okay. And also takes L on the mortar. Of course. And your tank commanders? Tank commander. Yeah, it's a Cadian uh, Kadian tank order. I can't remember the name, but it allows it me pound to... Pound them to dust. Yeah, pound them to dust. In English. It allows me to re-roll the number of shots I got. Okay. And he commands it to himself and the demon was next to him. Uh, that costs you a command point to give him the extra order? Or is this something special yes, and vigilant? Yes. Cost me a command point. A command point, okay, yes. yes. And Pask, he can give two. And he gives... Let me think about it. Pass can give two. What a... Yeah, I have to think about what it. What a great Second. thing he is. All right, we'll be back. Yeah. Okay, Pass says, Gunners, fire on sight. So some we will of ones, and hopefully some good hits. Uh, for both of them? Yeah. For that both. makes sense. Okay. Yeah. So we'll be back after your shooting phase, and I'm going to get my little green disc of death ready because I'm going to need them. Yeah, back after the shooting phase. So the Bane Blade spoke, took down five of the bikers at the top and put some damage on the radar in the back who was uh, obviously gone <laughs> then the tank commander was the next one to fire he took down the whole squad on the right flank uh, on his own the two uh, Lehman Wasses also shot at the radars took down the hit one and another one then what did fire next the exterminator shot on the last radar put on some wounds um, yeah the camera and the squad in the back all the shot on the bikes taking down one or two one i think yeah i think it's one and what was left yeah. So the mortars came in. Yeah, the mortars came in. Killed three witches in the squad over here after two died coming out of the raider. Yeah. Pask took out the last raider. Yeah. Which I embarked off. And yeah, some of small arms fire. The veterans did literally just one wound on a witch. And that's it, I guess. Yeah, I mean, uh, the first rank fire, second rank fire from those guys really did oh, yeah. a number on this witch squad here, I will say. Who's down to one. Okay, so you've already killed more than me. You've killed four. The three raiders and the spike squad. Yeah. They only killed three, so you got that going for you. You're not going to charge. You control one objective here. And one. Well, as long as you control one, you get one point. Yeah. I control three objectives at the end of the battle round, mm -hmm. which means I get the bonus point for that. Yeah, that's more than me. But you also got three for Big Game Hunter at this point. Mm -hmm. And you got uh, one for Butcher's Bill, having killed at least two units. Now I do owe you some morale checks. First thing I'm going to do, because you've taken out so much of my anti-tank firepowers, I'm going to spend two command points here mm. in order for her not to die so she can use her blast pistol. All right. I've lost five witches in this squad, but their leadership eight, rolling a two, so they are fine. Fine, yeah. And I've lost five bikes here with a leadership of eight. 
Uh, with a three, Fine. I'll keep him as well. Yeah. All right, so that is not terrible. Uh, it was a good first round. You are currently up seven to five as we go into Drakari turn two. Hoping to come back with a vengeance now. Oh, yeah. Jukari, turn two, movement. Let's start over here on the left where this uh, unit of Kabbalah Warriors are doing their job in holding objective number three. The Scourges have stayed in place to see if they can't do a little bit better with those Dark Lances as against that Chimera as the Hellions have moved up. The lone surviving uh, Arena Champion has jumped down here to prevent an easy kill point hidden behind the building uh, while the Archon continues to secure objective number one. Now I realize if I can get through these objectives, <coughs> And I'll start earning some bonus points. So the other Archon has stayed here in four while these guys have moved up. Not having anybody in Deep Strike makes me feel pretty good about leaving my rear lines open. Uh, Kitty has advanced. She rolled a two initially, so she rerolled that to a one. Uh, Kitty's her survivor, as you know, so she's going to wait a little bit until we can thin some things out. Hellions are coming up in support as all the witches have moved forward, being led by Dolly up there. And then you can see over here on the right is... Um, is Anna. So she sat there. The Venom has jumped down here. I couldn't quite clear that infantry screen. I would like to have gotten them back a little bit farther, but no. Uh, while these bikes here did an eviscerating flyby, uh, rolling six dice, killing four infantry as they flew over. Not leaving much for the Hellions to pick off after that's done, but that's okay. And then lastly, I brought my Scourges in here. We got the two blasters, and then we got some shard carbines are ready to go against the Cadian's left flank. So hopefully we can continue to push. We lost a lot of combat power that last turn, but we are right where we want to be in the grill of the Cadian forces. So we'll be back after the shooting phase next. The Drakari continue to chip away. Uh, starting over here on the right, the two blasters combined managed to do five points of damage to that Cadian tank right there while these uh, shard carvings up here managed to take out a few of those guys along with these witches down here. So the front squad here was cleared out by a combination of those Hellions there and also these guys back here with their extended range rifles because they are obscene rows. Archon managed to put five points of damage on this tank uh, nearest to me while uh, the girl that I saved, I'm sorry, the Hecatrex that I saved did the last wound to pass. So it was worth spending the two command points to keep that weapon in there. And then we just, you know, generally destroyed more Cadian infantry in the front. The screen is getting very, very thin. <laughs> this Chimera is amazing. The blasters failed to hit. And uh, I'm sorry, the blasters did one point of damage to it. And these scourges once again failed to hit. Uh, so it's only taken one damage so far. I have killed the rest of that squad there and put one damage on the lieutenant from these Hellions here. So the last thing I did was the Dark Eldar inside of that Venom, along with the Venom, shot up here. Frederick cleverly played take cover. But despite that, all the Drakari shots did manage to kill four of the veterans. So we are whittling them down as well. It's looking, looking okay as we go into the charge phase next. So we'll see how we do after that. Man, it's like a prize fight here tonight. It is just blow after blow being struck by both sides. Okay, so made a lot of good charges to include these witches here into the guardsmen and then they consolidated into the tank. Uh, during, before the charge phase though, Frederick had played, crushed them for that tank, uh, which ended up killing uh, two of my witches and then the guard actually killed a third witch, so I lost three witches in the exchange including two witch weapons, so that was pretty good on his part. Uh, over here in the center, this witch right here, the one that I paid two command points for, charged into the lone sergeant and uh, he actually hit her on overwatch but failed to wound her, spent a command point because it would have been really cool to kill her but failed and she dispatched him, but before uh, the Charge phase was over. I did charge in with these Hellions just so they could get closer to what remains of Freddy's back line. Over here, the combined powers of these witches in the Venom and of course the Hecatrex, not the Hecatrex, the Succubus, and Dolly uh, managed to chew through quite a few. Uh, that was a full man squad to begin with. Now it's down to four. Actually kind of glad I didn't kill them. Hopefully they don't all run away. 
Over here, I killed the lieutenant. And then I also charged in the chimera. We have done another three wounds of the chimera and have tied it up as well. So it is looking pretty good. I do hold at least one objective. I have killed over five units so far. I've gotten two headhunter points, uh, one for Pask and then one for the lieutenant over here. I've got the butcher's bill and I got recon again. So right now the score is going to be 11-7 going into the bottom of turn two. Frederick, do you want to roll for your morale here, sir? Yes. All right, where would you like to begin? Mm, no morale. <laughs> Let's start right here. All right, they've lost uh, six. Six guys, so one would be good. Mm. No, I'm so you'll just one lose guy. one additional guy. Okay. Yes. All right, I'm good there. And then over here, you have lost five Five this turn. Yep. So another um, two would be nice. Uh, that is a yeah, one. one. Okay, oh, incredible. So everyone is sticking around on the guard side. I do owe you one here for these witches. They have lost three. Their leadership is eight. Uh, that's a two, so they're okay. And that is it. So 11-7, favor the Jakari, as the guards turn to hit back, and this prize fight continues. Quick move phase, eh? Yeah, nothing much left. So the attack priest move them out to repair one of the demon wrestlers. The exterminator moved out of combat, while the Cadians got stuck in the net. That's <laughs> right. Stay there. Yeah, and the other one were brave enough to choose to stay. Very brave indeed. Yeah, and the chimera couldn't move. That's right. So that's the movement phase. Okay, super. So now we go on to the shooting phase. Yeah. Oh, this one. We are going to repair the three wounds on this one. Yeah. It has lost five so far. Now it's going to repair three. Yeah. That tech priest yeah. knows what he's doing, so it's back okay. up to ten. Perfect. All yeah. right, at the start of the shooting phase, what are we going to do with the orders? Yeah, pretty fast forward, the same as last one, so take aim on the veterans and the mortar squad for my uh, company commander, and I'm using inspiring tactics again, so pound them to dust for the tank commander and the demon was next to him. Alright, very good, so let's get to shooting. Let me start by saying, in order to protect my scourges, I played lightning fast reflexes for 2 CP, hunt for the shadows for 1 CP, and I used 1 command point to reroll. That's where the scourges used to be. Let's go. Th let's go through your shooting, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The bayonet started. He took down the two venoms of you. Makes them go pop. Yeah, he did. And I think he hit the scourges too with the yeah, heavy bolter killing one. Bolters and killing one. Of course, he's just sitting on fives. Then the tank commander took out the squad of hellions in the middle. Yep. On his own. And the first Lehman was took down the Cavalite Warriors jumping out. Yep. Well, one was left, but the second Lehman was got him with his heavy bolter and took out most of the Squatches. Two yeah. of them, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Two of them. And then the veterans jumped in, killed the other two, killed some of the. Well, witches. killed one because it was the mortar oh, that yeah, killed the last yeah. one when mm -hmm. I rolled another yeah. one. <laughs> yeah. On uh, that. Some kills so, on the witches. Yeah, three witches three died witches when they died. jumped out of the uh, crashing venom, and then you killed one more with uh, yeah. plasma gun yeah. from those guys. And the mortars took down the last squouch, didn't manage to kill the lone bike in the back, Yeah. and didn't manage to kill the last witch. We did remember That's to amazing. use the pistols in close combat for him, but they did nothing. So uh, at this point, Freddy has killed like six units. Uh, so he's killed at least one and he has, uh, he's still holding one, but that's not important right now because what's important right now is to see what happens in the charge and fight phase, yeah? Yes. All right, so let's go to that before we start adding up the score. Okay, Frederick, let's go through your assault phase for yeah. more blood on the table. Yeah, not very much has been achieved. So my four guardsmen here against two witches, they failed horribly, didn't do any damage and got wiped out. Speaking of failing horribly, the succubus. <laughs> Just did one damage. Yeah, kill. one hit, yeah. one kill. One kill. And my guardsmen fought back and killed three witches, I guess. Uh, two okay. witches because that witch was killed during the shooting. Oh yeah, yeah. So two witches and the 
which well, is hit back. Lone Sergeant is the last survivor of the brigade. Yeah, which is did hit back and killed uh, two more there. And then the oh. big explosion. Yeah, so Bikes finally killed the Chimera after the Hellions hit it. Yep, the Hellions and took off four wounds. The Bikes did layer two, actually did four, because you rolled three, well, four yeah. threes. It did explode uh, one mortal wound to the Bikes, which they didn't save, and then one to the Hellions, which Frederick re-rolled in order to make it two, and they didn't save those. So at the end of the turn, uh, Frederick doesn't actually control an objective, but he has killed a unit, so he gets a point for that. And then uh, we added up his Reaper, and he has killed over 60 models, so that's three points there. He, of course, uh, also got Butcher's Bill this turn, so he ends up with 12 points after the second battle round. I, of course, hold more objectives at this point. And I just barely managed to kill more units than Frederick did. So that puts me at 13 points to his 12. So interesting so far, very tight. I think I probably have a little bit of a manpower advantage, but even though it doesn't, I don't know. I think you got more points on the board. It's just a question if I can tie him up, which yeah. is certainly going to be my goal. Yeah, that's going to be the point now. All right, so we're going to go now into uh, some... Morale check, starting with this Hecatrix over here. She has lost four of her girls. Her leadership is eight. Uh, that would be a nine. I'm going to spend a command point to reroll that. Oh, no. She is gone. Uh, so that actually means we're going to be tied. So it's going to be 12 to 12 because now we have killed an equal amount of people. Unless you fail your morale check over there. <laughs> oh, yeah. So that's three guys. Yeah, leadership seven. So four would be good. Six. I think I'm gonna spend a command point as well. Because it works so well for me. Yeah. Uh, Let me show you. Six. <laughs> All right. So the score is uh, thirteen to twelve. Then favor the Drukari and going into turn number three on what's been a long, bloody battle. Yeah. <laughs> So the Cabal, the trip crippled dog, has really been excelling today, trying to prove their worth to the Witch Cult of Incestuous Rage. Uh, these guys end up putting the finishing touches on the veterans that were up there, killing like four of them uh, after they got hit by a plasma grenade from that witch right there. And uh, overall, just really happy with their performance, especially with the extended range. These chuckleheads, finally the... Dark Lances do two hits, two wounds, and then for damage roll double ones. So I used a command point, my last command point, to reroll that uh, and got a three. So it did four points of damage. So it was really up to uh, the blaster pistols on both of those girls right there. And it was actually the Hecatrex that killed it finally. Actually, no. Both of those failed. It was the blasters uh, that killed it from the bikes. So then we go to the charge phase and... Dolly is just rusty right now because she goes in, uh, she uses the trip tip witch uh, whip in order to do nine attacks and she ends up hitting nine times and wounding six times to include a mortal wound and then <laughs> Frederick makes five saves so the company commander is alive on two wounds, will not die. The bikes uh, did jump into the mortar squad and killed two and a half of them. And in return, they did lose a bike to that Lehman Rust right there. While these witches uh, charged into, after shooting them with the blast pistol and wounding them, Frederick rolled a six for his save. <laughs> the saves have been crazy this game. Uh, the dice rolls on both sides. Uh, and then we did manage to do three wounds on him in close combat before he took out the Hecatrex. In return, I opted to leave the Chardonnay and Impaler there. So uh, at this point, I am tying up a uh, couple of tanks. The Bane Blade is still free, but... Could shoot anyway. Yeah, could shoot anyway. But there's not a whole lot of targets. Well, there are plenty of targets for him, but he's going to have a hard time. Wipe me out completely, I hope. Because right now, I get five points. Um, I did say five. Yes, because Recon. We're still getting Recon. One, two, three, and four with Archon. And then we got... Uh, one point for Butcher's Bill, and then we got another point for more objectives. More objectives. 
So we had 13, now we have 17 to Frederick's 12 as we go into his turn three next. Okay, Frederick, take us through your turn here. It was not what you needed, was it? No, not really impressive. So the Baneblade wanted to take down the bikes and the Hellions. As you can see, he managed to kill the Hellions, but failed horribly on the bikes. Killed only one. Yeah, with the Baneblade cannon and the Demolisher cannon. I hoped it would be enough, but it wasn't. Then my tank commander died thanks to four mortal wounds. We didn't. Your tech priest. No. Oh, sorry, your, your commander. Uh, the company commander. Yeah, the company commander, yes. Yeah. Uh, finally, the dolly shook off the cobwebs yeah. and did four mortal wounds with their trip tip whip. Yeah, and my tech priest didn't manage to kill the last witch with the bolt pistol, neither with the omniscient axe. And I rolled and a six on my save for yeah. the bolt pistol. Yeah, and so he just died. <laughs> Okay, so I think at this point you're going to go ahead and concede, correct? Yeah. Is this the last turn? It's the last turn. Uh, yeah, it doesn't it's... have to be, but it's... Uh... I'm not sure. Can I... I don't think I can do anything more. Maybe you know, I can... I, I am good if you want to concede here, my friend. It's been a great game. Yeah, I think so. Maybe I can kill something in Overwatch, but I'm not going to make any more points, I guess. Yeah, so I would actually have some places like I could hide from Overwatch by moving uh, Kitty the Survivor here into this building then charging into you. I'm just going to be playing uh, tag with your tanks. Yeah, I think I'm going to concede. Okay. It was a great game. It was a great game. Let's talk about it in the post-game wrap-up. I especially want to get your thoughts on the LVO mission format. All right. Welcome back to the War Corgi YouTube network. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what a game that was. There are not many models left standing on this on this board right now. Yeah, it's been a death pitch in the middle. As it always is with my Drukari, um, it's a witch cult, so they're not survivable like the Coven units are, or even the Cable Lights can sometimes be. Yeah. Witch cult, in my humble opinion, are designed to throw forward at the enemy, roll a bunch of dice, and see who's left standing at the end. Yeah, and you did manage to lose very well. Yeah, and, and boy, talk about some crazy rolls on oh, both yeah. sides, yeah. back and forth. Uh, there's times I wanted to pull my hair out, and then times I wanted to when to put my hair back in and <laughs> yeah, the saves have been great yes for the game the hit rolls have been good and you, the wounds horrible yeah you know when I have managed to hit and wound with the blasters and whatnot I, I did a lot of damage on those rolls more yeah, often than not that's true Pask yeah. just died away and to the Archon I guess yeah Archon uh, you know what he did survive that first round with one wound left and he is Surprisingly good with just one wound. Yeah, he still hits on fours, like yeah. normal even was. He orders himself to reroll the ones. Uh, it's good to go. Again. Shoot twice with 40, 40 shots from the Punisher. Yeah. There's a reason why he's so good, folks, and, and you know. Okay, I really want to know what you thought about the ITC mission format, but before you say anything, I will say uh, there is a learning curve to it. It's a, it's a pretty simple mission format. Yeah. But you need to kind of play it once or twice to gain a full understanding. So what are your initial impressions? Yeah, I think I really like it because it kind of combines uh, Eternal War and Maelstrom missions. You have some kind of both with choosing your own missions to achieve. You know, the secondary but, objectives, yeah. Yeah, but you really got to know what your army can do, what the enemy is going to do, yes. and how you can achieve those points. Yes. And if you don't know the enemy's army, I think it's Difficult to play, but other than that, I think it's really fair one. I, uh, a lot of people think it's really tactical, especially with the, you know, if you kill a unit, you get a point, but if you kill more units, you get two points. Mm -hmm. And the objectives, you always get one for holding at least one, but you can get two if you hold more. So it combines that, like you said, eternal war play, but it's happening each turn, and the secondaries almost function like a maelstrom. So. High level ITC players will of course list build in order to minimize the number of secondary objectives they're going to give up. Yeah. Neither one of us did that today, so I'm going to take it through. So 
I would have gotten a recount on all four turns because that's what true car you do. They're super yeah. fast. Absolutely. And uh, Headhunter, I had three points at the end of the game and I, uh, four points yeah. after I killed the Tech Priest. Yeah. Uh, did I kill the Tech Priest? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Some soft targets. Uh, so I maxed on Headhunter and then Butcher's Bill. That might have been the only one I would not have gotten four points on mm-hmm. because at the end of the game, it would have been very difficult me, difficult for me to kill two tanks. Yeah, I think so. For your part, in Game Hunter, you got three, and you can only get three because you couldn't get it for the Venoms because they have less than seven wounds. Yeah, that's difficult. But you got all three of those in the first round. Oh, that was okay, I guess. Reaper, you killed 80 units. No problem there. <laughs> yeah. And then Butcher's Bill, uh, you got in the first two rounds, and I think... You, you ran out of combat power after that, but it was a, a really good uh, yeah. choice on yours. Both of us probably overkilled on turn two in order to keep <laughs> getting that, yeah. uh, because I killed like seven units and you killed six. Yeah, and that's one been it So the more you play this, uh, the more fun it gets. And you know, I've introduced it to Simon over here. I've introduced it to Sasha. Yeah. I'm sure plenty of Germans are familiar with it, just not in our play group. And so far, everyone who's played it seems to have liked it. Yeah, I think it's a really cool concept. Yeah, I like it a lot. So, it uh, gives you a reason to go over to Las Vegas and visit me in America. Hope so. Okay. S- someday I will do. But maybe we can make some more games. But it's, it's... Uh, absolutely, absolutely. No, we've been having a lot of fun. Uh, finally got you over the house yeah, absolutely. a little while ago. And, and I think now we are we are hooked. And we're going to keep playing some Warhammer because it's too much fun yeah. not to. Sure about it. So, what was the superstar of your list, would you say? I got something in mind, and it's about mm. two feet long by a foot <laughs> wide, but yeah. maybe it gave you a bad taste at the last. Yeah, yeah the Baneblade really wasn't doing as well as I hoped to, especially okay. in the last round. He did manage to kill the two units, which may have kept me going. Mm-hmm. So, I think I'm really proud of the tank commander. He did a really good job. He took down a whole unit of bikes on his own in the first round. Killed some... Oh, what did he kill? Well, uh, that first round he killed Lunch. six bikes, yeah, as bikes. you said. In the second round he ended up killing, I think, uh, both Venoms, maybe? Yeah, I think, I think that was him. Killing yeah. both Venoms. He was just really on target. Yeah, he really... Yeah, was a really good output with the Relic. So that's the damage. It's a beautiful model. I'm gonna I'm gonna show it to the people right now. Is yeah. that a Forge World model then? I presume. Yeah, it's a uh, turret. It's from Forge World. Okay. It's a Stegis, uh Vanquisher cannon normally, and I wanted to play the Stegis Vanquisher, but you can't put a tank commander in, so I just said it's okay. It's it, a normal it, battle cannon. It works really well for the relic battle cannon. Yeah. So it's a relic battle cannon. Then. I think he did outstanding, and I think Pass, given that he didn't survive long enough to be your MVP, mm-hmm. I think he did a really great job yeah. uh, for where he, he was. He took some shots and good output, uh, especially when going down to one wound. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I think the tank commander would be my MVP today. Yeah. You know, I avoided charging any of your tanks. All of my mm-hmm. charges were against units that were near your tanks, yeah. and then I consolidated into your tanks. Yeah. Because gunner's kill on sight is one heck of a stratagem yeah. and it's here. <laughs> right up my sleeve, but yeah. <laughs> no way to play it. Yeah, so um it would have been great. Yeah, it would have been great. I didn't let you do that. As far as my list is concerned, I yeah. think I think the strength is still, you know, the bikes. Yeah, so but really tough. What really surprised me is how well just those little cavalite warriors did. With a 30 inch range, uh, you had enough infantry out on the board that they were really doing some damage for me yeah, with long range support and clearing some lanes for my, my girls to charge yeah. through. Yeah, I think I would give it to the witches, to be honest. The witches? They were so doable. I couldn't get rid of them. They were all the time charging my units. Once you put them in close them. combat and they got that 4 up dodge save, or they always have a 6 up dodge save. When you're yeah. shooting them, combined with the inert to pain six up, means they're yeah. saving about thirty percent of the time. You're right. Uh, yeah, they really silenced me, especially pass and six terminator. Yes, that was the that was the one hecatrex I saved with two command points. Yeah, because it was quit. You know, I, I normally rely on those dark lances on the raiders to provide me with some anti tank firepower. They failed tonight. Um, so I, I had to spend those to keep that blast pistol, and it paid off. And then really she would have. Killed an air person before you mercilessly gunned her down. But 
Our town did well too. Uh, oh yeah. Not the one that's sitting in the back just kind of chilling. Yeah. It's our town uh, too, but the one who moved forward. He's really a Drake guy. Yeah. yeah. He did 10 damage to the tanks. Total, yeah. I guess. Yeah. I hit three, none, two. you know, twos with that blaster. Yeah. Ain't no joke, so. Oh no. <laughs> not a bit. Okay. Um, I'm glad you enjoyed the mission format. I think you yeah. played really well for your first time. And then uh, maybe next time you come over, what do you think about bringing Oh, not sure. I have some knights ready, uh, just one and two helm, uh, armager warglaives. I can mix them in with something. And yeah, I have a little bit of death watch on the go, but just two squads, maybe something like this. Or my black templars, I'm not sure about it. Well, think about it. I, you know what, I, I got some, some flack, uh, some, some negative feedback. Well, so my, it's, it's, it's not wrong, but you know, people have strong opinions about Terminators and, and yeah. they're not very competitive, but man, I had such a good time playing against Simon with them. Yeah. I want to make that list work. So maybe next time you come back, uh, I'll pull out some Terminators again along with oh, some nice. other stuff. I think at 2,000 points, it works better than at 1,500 points. Yeah, absolutely. And I got a really cool uh, Forge World Flyer that I can use with them from the Raven Guard and it is a Darkwing Panther Storm mm -hmm. Hawk. All right, yeah. I know it. And along with the two little birds, my uh, Storm Talons, uh, maybe we make something work. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. We continue to make Warhammer 40K content alongside our Star Wars Legion content. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed um, what was, in my opinion, a really great game. Yeah, absolutely. It did. It did. We did enjoy it. You know, only three rounds, but on this side of the camera, it, we've been going at it for a while with all yeah. these stats we've been throwing. Some so, of us. So, so thanks, much units. Yeah, thanks for conceding. Yeah. <laughs> so now we got to clean them all up. Oh, yeah. So if you like the video, give us a like, and hopefully you've already subscribed. But if you haven't subscribed yet, please do, because it means a lot to us. Oh, yes. And then we will see you soon with another Work Orgy video battle report. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.